What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. Guess what? Disney Plus just gave the green light for Zombies 4, the next chapter in the awesome Zombies movie series. They're gearing up to start filming this cool sci-fi musical in Auckland, New Zealand. But shh, the exact date is a secret for now. The movie is still in the early stages over at the streaming giant. The creative geniuses behind the first three zombie slicks, David Light and Joseph Rosso, are also the brains behind this new installment. Steering the ship is Paul Hohen, who's not new to the Disney scene. He directed episodes of High School Musical, The Musical, The Series, Andy Mack, and Stuck in the Middle, among others. Now, I wish I could spill the beans on the plot, but it's all hush-hush at the moment. What we do know is that it's going to pick up right where Zombies 3 left off. You remember that bombshell about Addison being part alien? Well, brace yourselves because when a bunch of extraterrestrials show up in Seabrook, Addison teams up with them to figure out that Earth is their dream home. Addison and Zed might be in for a wild ride as they face fresh challenges. The harmony among humans, aliens, vampires, and merfolk could be in jeopardy thanks to an external threat. And guess who's on the front line to fix it? Yep, it's Addison to the rescue once again. And brace yourselves for some serious relationship goals between Zed and Addison, especially now that they're cool with the whole Addison is part alien revelation. I love you, Zed. I love you too. To the end of the universe. Maybe we'll meet again. Somehow. Someday. Stepping into the spotlight, we've got Milo Mannheim and Meg Donnelly rocking the lead roles as Zed and Addison. And hold on to your hats because some familiar faces are likely making a comeback. Kylie Russell as Eliza, Carla Jeffrey as Bree, Chandler Kinney as Willa, Pierce Joza as Wyatt, Baby Ariel as Winter, Terry Hu as Ace Ben, Matt Cornett as Alan, and Kyra Tantau as Ailey might just be back to join the fun. Oh, but there's a mystery around Trevor Torgman. Will he show up as Bucky after his unexpected space journey at the end of Zombies 3? Only time will tell. Auckland seems to be the place to be, right? It's a hot spot for big shot film projects. I mean, we're talking about the city that hosted the filming of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, The Power of the Dog, and The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. Auckland, you're on a roll. Alright, for those who missed out on the scoop about Zombies 3, here's the lowdown. It's this awesome 2022 American sci-fi musical that made its grand entrance on Disney Plus on July 15, 2022, and later strutted its stuff on Disney Channel on August 12, 2022. It's the sequel to the 2018 hit Zombies and its 2020 follow-up Zombies 2, bringing back the dynamic duo Milo Mannheim and Meg Donnelly in their stellar roles as Zed and Addison. And guess what? The gang's all here. Yep, most of the cool crew from the first two Zombies films decided to join the party once again. In Seabrook, a town where werewolves, humans, and zombies coexist harmoniously, Addison and Zed face their last year at Seabrook High. Addison has earned acceptance to Mountain College, while Zed is actively pursuing an athletic scholarship at the same college with the hope of joining Addison. The eve of a crucial football game promising to break barriers for monster students entering college takes an unexpected turn when a UFO arrives, sparking widespread panic. From this UFO, alien leaders named Aelin, Ailey, and Ace Ben descend, claiming they seek an interstellar map leading to Utopia, their species' new home. According to them, the map is hidden within the most precious thing in Seabrook. To conceal their true agenda, they fiend participation in the National Cheer-Off, an event previously organized by Addison. Facing scrutiny from Z Patrol, Ace Ben identifies a loophole that could pave the way for Zed's college admission, a remarkable scholarship based on his improved grades. As the town grapples with the unexpected extraterrestrial visit, Addison and Zed find themselves at the center of a unique and unforeseen series of events. Willa, Wyatt, and Winter are deeply suspicious of the aliens, believing they have ulterior motives to claim what belongs to them. Despite this, the aliens decide to temporarily settle in Seabrook. 
employing luma lenses. The extraterrestrials interrogate the werewolves, delving into their minds for information. Eliza, currently interning at Z Corp, the creator of Z Bands, assists Zed in his scholarship endeavors. However, the aliens surpass Zed's records in both athletics and academics, diminishing his chances of getting into college. In exchange for altering Zed's report card, Zed aids the aliens in identifying the Moonstone, which they scan for coordinates and realize it's deadly to them. During a meeting with Addison, Ace Ben discloses their affection for Zed. Tensions escalate during cheer practice when the cheer team is threatened after witnessing the aliens' rehearsal. Nearly caught by the werewolves, the aliens retreat to their mothership, where Zed assists them with his knowledge of Seabrook. In an unexpected turn, Addison is mistakenly beamed up to the mothership. Ace Ben, A. Lee, and A. Lan finally reveal their true motives for being in Seabrook. Reviewing and repairing the scout's logs, they make a startling discovery. The scout is none other than Addison's maternal grandmother, Angie. It's worth noting that Bucky, Addison's cousin, is unrelated to Angie, as he is connected to Addison through her father's side. Zed faces nervous anticipation for his final home college interview, a crucial step before learning if he's accepted into Mountain College. However, Addison's alien powers unintentionally cause him to zombie out during the interview, leading his interviewer, Miss Crabtree, to exit abruptly. In search of answers, Addison questions her identity as an alien seeking information from her mom about her grandma. The trio of aliens suspects that the Seabrook Cup, Angie's creation awarded to the cheer-off winner and crafted from materials of their homeworld, might be their map home. Addison soon realizes the same, understanding that either the aliens or she must win the cup. The werewolves uncover the aliens' mission and alert the Z Patrol. After learning of his acceptance into college, Zed discovers the Z Patrol's orders and attempts to prevent the aliens from participating in the cheer-off. This leads to the extraterrestrial team being disqualified, leaving Addison as the sole hope for finding Utopia. In a turn of events, the Seabrook Mighty Shrimp emerge victorious in the competition, securing the Seabrook Cup. The werewolves crash into the cheer pavilion, unveiling the aliens' plans. Addison, Zed, and the aliens manage to escape before Addison discloses her alien heritage to the town. Zed shares his college news, and the aliens realize that the coordinates to Utopia are encoded in Addison's DNA. Unfortunately, their map is dynamic, requiring them to take Addison to their new home. Despite the internal conflict, Addison agrees to go. Zed, willing to accompany her, faces the harsh reality that the alien Stardust energy would quickly prove fatal to him. On the day of departure, the alien ship sustains critical damage. The werewolves offer their Moonstone, and Eliza proposes using their Z-bands to filter the Moonstone's energy and recharge the ship. Zed, risking his life, intervenes in the power transfer, surviving the ordeal. As the others rush to exit the ship before it launches into space, Addison and Zed share a poignant kiss before he is beamed back to Earth, and the spaceship vanishes into hyperspace. With Addison gone, the group celebrates their graduation in the days that follow. When the aliens decode Addison's DNA, they discover that Earth is the real utopia, which is consistent with Addison's beliefs. Overjoyed, Zed, Bree, Willa, Winter, Wyatt, Bonzo, Bucky, and the ACs greet the aliens upon their triumphant return to Seabrook. The aliens, as well as other monsters and creatures such as vampires and merfolk, become fully integrated into Seabrook. Bucky is seen boarding the mothership during the credits, preparing it for launch with the goal of bringing cheer to the farthest reaches of the galaxy. Well, that's it for today. Let me know your take on it in the comment section. Make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one.